the most common annual grass species that we have throughout Florida in the landscape is crabgrass. This, there's several different species of crabgrass that are found throughout Florida. There's about five or so that are very common. This is large crabgrass. And like, all the, like a lot of the crabgrasses, it's a summer annual grass. We start to see it in the early spring. Um, depending upon where you're in, uh, in the state, you might see it in February or March when it first starts to uh, germinate, when the soil temperature is about 55 to 65 degrees. So with um, gr uh, crabgrass, it's going to primarily spread, it's going to only spread through seed, uh, but it can also spread vegetatively just because as it grows and spreads out, it will root along the notes. Um, so it will root out along the ground as it spreads. Now, um, because it spreads from seed and establishes from seed, pre-emergent herbicides are going to be the best option for control and in a lot of cases are the only way to control it because we don't have any selective herbicides to control crabgrass when it gets into turf. In landscape beds, it's a little bit easier to control. Now, when you're looking at the difference between crabgrass and some other annual grass species, look at the seed head on crabgrass, or at least on large crabgrass. You see how the seed head is all coming out from one central point. Um, so that is a good way to tell if it's crabgrass, uh, in addition to the fact that it often has uh, hairs on the, uh, the stems. So one grass species that's similar to crabgrass and that's its a summer annual grass, but it's often very confused with crabgrass is broadleaf signal grass. So if you look at the difference in um, signal grass, you can see that the, uh, the, the seed heads are coming out at right angles on that stem uh, when, that, when those seeds have matured. And so that's the way to tell signal grass from crabgrass. For more information on weed identification, contact your local University of Florida IFAS Extension Office.